Okay, here we are at freekeywords.wordtracker.com. Now, for for those that are new to um, search engine optimization, um, really all you're doing is focusing on trying to perform well within a search engine for selective keywords. So if you live in Toronto, maybe you want to perform well for the keywords Toronto real estate. Um, the the key is to um, to one understand that keyword and realize how much competition is for that keyword but there's another aspect to search engine optimization that many people don't realize and that's what's called the long tail so we're going to cover two things here at um, free keywords um, dot word tracker dot com and there's two services you can buy the word tracker service um, which will allow you to track down all sorts of keywords so that you know what to, to compete for or you can use this one which is free and it gives you a hundred related keywords instead of the thousands that the normal tool will come up with um, if you're using some form of analytics program like google analytics or some form of um, stat tracker for your website go into it and see how people are finding your site you'll be able to see the keywords that they found using the search engines um, Google Analytics is a is a free site too so and a great tool to use so just talk to your web designer and ask them to put it on your site for you um, okay well let's get started here and the first um, the first step is to type in the term that you're looking for so I'm gonna try this term I haven't done it yet so you see me do this stuff pretty live um, and we'll see how many it comes up with. So it's it's really small in that case. So we need something we need something larger that I can demonstrate this with. Um, let's go um, Chicago. Chicago. No, let's go something bigger. We'll go New York real estate. Yeah. Okay. So here we have a much bigger list. As you can see, it just keeps scrolling down and scrolling down and scrolling down and scrolling down and scrolling down. Um, the reason why I'm here is just one to demonstrate a few things. One, um, you can see that by far the first first few terms hold the most value of the listing. So in this case, um, this is per day when you see when you see this. So 375 searches per day for the term New York real estate. Um, and 134 per day for New York, New York City real estate. Pretty big, pretty big numbers um, in comparison to these little numbers down here. But I want to point out that the total search was 2,684. So here's the first thing I want to talk about is the long tail, and the long tail is the ability of a bunch of small things to outweigh the the large things it used to be that when you were marketing any any particular thing you just went after the the big market right you looked at a demographic and said people 18 to 35 males um you know like to watch a specific show or um they buy certain things they like to buy mustang cars whatever whatever you wanted to say and you just target that and that would be this group here but now what marketers have started to realize and what real estate agents have to realize specifically for their website is that there are hundreds of terms that people are finding your site on or sh should be finding your site on right that w that will largely outweigh this so out of 2600 searches there's the first few terms are only 5 600 searches out of that so the majority are actually these long tail terms here's the advantage of blogging um and and a lot of people don't don't realize this but when you're blogging you can naturally create um the the content for these long tail t search terms really easily just by doing just by doing a search for your area or looking at your website and seeing how people might be finding you and and create an article or topic that that fits those long tail keywords so an example is if we scroll down here, there's real estate Highland, New York. Well, there's only 24 searches a day for that in comparison to the 375. But now you could do a topic just about just about real estate Highland, New York, or maybe you want to do um, a topic on condominiums or a specific specific neighborhood within your area on condominiums. You can get right down to really small niches where only maybe one or two people are searching for that term, but by the time a year's over and you consistently blog on different topics, you've got one or two people times two, three hundred 
pages, which now all of a sudden you've got 400 people coming to your site per day. Um, I hope you understand the power of that and, and why it's important. Now you can use this tool to try and dig deeper into that. So I, I talked about, you know, Belleville, Ontario, which is our little town. We're only a town of about 50,000 here. Um, which is one of the reasons I live here. It's so small that that keyword tracker doesn't even pull up how many searches are being done on that particular word. Um, but um, but if you pull up a larger one, a larger center like Toronto Real Estate, and if you do live in a larger center, this tool becomes fantastic because now you can start to see what other people are starting to search for in those terms. And if you just want a tip, if your town is too small. Um, to be pulling up terms like my town is, just sub in, like pick a larger center um, in your state or province and type it in. And what you'll get is, in this case, we get Toronto Real Estate, Toronto Real Estate Board, Toronto Real Estate Agent. Sub in your city, in this case, Belleville Real Estate, Belleville Real Estate Board, Belleville Real Estate Agent. Just because they're searching for a different city doesn't mean people within your city aren't doing the same type of searches so you can really find um, you can really start to figure out what you might want to talk about on your particular website that people are looking for in that case you know and if you know and don't just go real estate go homes as well you know there's all sorts of things Toronto real estate homes um, homes for sale homes for sale in Toronto Toronto new homes um, homes for sale by owner in Toronto, Canada. Maybe you want to do an article on for sale by owner um, and bring in just a couple. The list just goes on. So get really creative with a tool like this and then start creating blog articles that fit that, that provide content that people would want to read. And once you do that, you'll find that you'll start getting more natural traffic. Um, it's a lot It's a lot easier to get a top page ranking for for these lower search terms here because people don't write articles for them and therefore you can get on the first page and all your all your real estate competitors in your city are trying to get these these top terms all the time and you're down here collecting these terms and it takes a little bit more work to get them but to to write the articles but you'll score much higher in the search engines much easier um and therefore while they're fighting it over to try and get these terms you're collecting you know on dozens of pages over here three or four visitors at a time and outweighing whatever they make here um, really quickly so that's my tip for today um, by all means come to the blog um, ask questions I'll try and get them answered for you um, and we'll see what we can do thanks